Good day! Welcome back to another Math Husay Math 9 tutorial. In this lesson, you will learn how to find the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. Let's begin. We know that any quadratic equation can be solved using the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. From the quadratic formula, we let x sub 1 equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and x sub 2 be equal to negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a be the roots. Now, we will describe the relationship between coefficients and the roots of a quadratic equation to find the sum and the product of these roots. So, to find the sum of the roots, we have to add x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, if we add these two values, we know that we can easily add this because we have the same denominator. So, we are going to add and combine terms in the numerator. Since we're adding, so positive times negative is negative, positive times negative is negative. So, we'll have in the numerator negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac minus b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede nating i-cancel si square root of b squared minus 4ac. Pwede itong i-cancel. So, you will have in the numerator negative 2b all over 2a. Right? Because you have negative b here and you have negative b. So, when you combine, you will have negative 2b over 2a. So, since we have a common factor which is 2, so the sum of the roots x sub 1 and x sub 2 is equal to negative b all over a. So, we can find the sum of the roots without solving the quadratic equation by dividing negative b by the coefficient a. To find the product of the roots, we have to multiply x sub 1 and x sub 2. Now, multiplying these two roots will have negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a times the quantity of negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, take note that when you're multiplying fractions, you have to multiply the numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator. So, in this case, we will begin with the denominator. So, 2a times 2a, you will have 4a squared. Notice that in the numerator, we have the same quantity except the operation. No? So, we have the product of the sum and difference. So, it can be multiplied directly as getting the squared of negative b squared minus the square of the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now, if we simplify the numerator, we will have diba, negative b squared, that's b squared. Now, the square of the square root of b squared minus 4ac is still b squared minus 4ac. So, we simplify again the numerator, you will have b squared minus b squared because negative times positive is negative. Now, negative times negative 4ac will have positive 4ac. Now, we see that b squared can be cancelled. So, we have 4ac all over 4a squared. Now, we have a common factor which is 4a. So, we can still simplify these 
rational expression into C over A. So, we can get the product of roots by dividing the coefficient C with the coefficient A. So, in summary, if we have x sub 1 and x sub 2 as the roots of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then you can find the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation using this formula. So, the sum is equal to negative b over a and the product is just c over a. So, that is the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of quadratic equation. So, we can use these coefficients to directly solve the sum and products of the roots. So, take note, if the general equation is written in the form of x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0, then we have x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus product of roots equals 0. So, in this case, if the roots are given no, and you want to find the equation, the quadratic equation, you can just substitute the sum of the roots in the middle term and substitute the value of the product of the roots. So, in this equation, x squared minus sum of the roots x plus the product of the roots equals 0. Let's have some examples. Example number 1. Find the sum and the product of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Now, take note, we have to find the values of a, b, and c since we will be using these coefficients to find the sum and the products of the roots. So, for the sum of the roots, alam natin na ang sum of the roots can be taken by this formula, negative b over a. So, substituting the values of b and a, we have negative 8 all over 2. Now, we can simplify negative 8 divided by 2 as negative 4. So, the sum of the roots is negative 4. How about the product of the roots? Again, we will use the formula C over A. Now, we know that C is negative 10 and A is positive 2. Now, negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Therefore, the product of the roots is negative 5. Example number 2. Find the sum and the product of the roots x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Again, we have to find the values of a, b, and c. And that is 1, negative 7, and 12. Now, to get the sum of the roots, we have negative b over a. So, we substitute the values of negative uh, of b and a. So, we have negative of negative 7 over 1. So, negative times negative is positive 7. So, positive 7 divided by 1 is still positive 7. So, the sum of the roots is positive 7. How about the product of the roots? Take note that to get the product of the roots, you can divide C by A. So, we know that C is equal to 12 and A is equal to 1. Now, 12 divided by 1 is still 12. So, the product of the roots is 12. Hence, the sum and the product of the roots of x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0 are 7 and 12 respectively.
Example number 3. Write a quadratic equation whose roots are negative 5 and 6. In this example, we know already the roots of quadratic equation which is negative 5 and positive 6. Now, we want to find the quadratic equation but first we have to find the sum and the product of the roots. So to find the sum of the roots, we only need to add negative 5 and positive 6 and that will give you positive 1. So that is the sum of the roots. On the other hand, the product of the roots can be taken by multiplying these two roots. Negative 5 times positive 6 is negative 30. So the product of the roots is negative 30. So in this case, dahil gusto nating kunin ang quadratic equation given ang dalawang roots, so we know that x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0. So isa substitute na lang natin yung value ng sum of the roots and product of the roots sa equation na ito. So x squared minus, we know that our sum is 1, so we have negative x, so the product is negative 30, so negative 30. So our equation is x squared minus x minus 30 equals 0. Let's take the last example. Write the quadratic equation with integral coefficients whose sum and product of the roots are given. So the sum is negative 2 while the product of the roots is negative 1. So since the sum and product of the roots are already given, we just need to substitute the value in the equation x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus product of the roots equals 0. Now, substituting the values of the sum and the product of the roots in the equation will have x squared minus the quantity of negative 2, that's our sum, x plus the product which is 1 equals 0. Now, we know that negative times negative is positive, right? So, we'll have the equation x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So in this case naman, magkaiba siya sa example number 3. Dahil dito, binigay na mismo ang sum and product of the roots. So you can just easily find the equation by substituting the values of sum and products of the roots in the equation, x squared minus sum of the roots x plus product of roots equals 0. Please pause the video and try these exercises. And don't forget to type your answers on the comment section. Kung may natutunan kayo sa tutorial na ito, huwag kalimutang i-like, share, at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Tandaan ang sikreto para maging mathusay, matuto at mag-ensayo. Kita-kits sa susunod na Arlene. Bye!